So these are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need foil. I have specifically nine foils. Brush, um, comb, and also this comb needs to be um, this comb right here. You can get this type of comb at Sally's. Um, if you don't have a Sally's, you can get it at beauty supply store. Um, also, you're gonna need a small brush and a big brush. The small brush is to be able to apply the lightener and then the big brush is gonna be for the, um, whenever we're uh, doing the retouch. And it needs to be thick, it needs to be kind of hard as you can see. This one, I would say kind of like in between, but it, it could be hard. That'll still work. Um, also, you need like a mixer. I like to use this to mix my lightener. Um, I mean, a clip, um, other clips in case, a bowl. And then this is the color that I got from Sally's. It's a light chocolate brown, and we're gonna do 20 volume. Um, if you want the brown to be lighter, and then you can go with a 30 volume. That will get it a little bit lighter not too much lighter and then you're gonna need some lightener um this one specifically i got at a store that they have for hairstylists um only hairstylists can go in there if you have a license um but if you need lightener you can also get lightener from sally's they also have different lighteners um but i got the red redkin and i'm also going to use 20 volume um, just because I do have very dark hair, I'm about a three or four, um, naturally is I'm going to leave that on for a long time. Cause I'm going to have to do the back of my hair whenever I do the rest of the hair with, uh, the regrowth. So, you know, that's why I'm going to do a 20 volume. Cause the front is going to be up there for a minute. Uh, the 20 is going to keep you safe and keep your hair feeling very, you know, healthy. So that's why we're going to go with that. But these are all the things that you're going to need. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayla. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a hairstylist, makeup artist. And today's video is going to be about me um, doing my hair. Okay, so y'all seen the video. If you haven't seen the video, um, I'll try to put the link down below so you can. Um, so basically, you guys, my hair has grown out. As you can see, it's a lot of black. Um, and you know... I had did it a while back when I was working. So now I'm going to do the regrowth because I have nothing else to do. We're in quarantine. So, you know, I figured why not do this video? Finally, I can do my hair too. It'll look fresh and it'll look really pretty, you know. And I'm just, I know I look a hot mess, you guys. I've just been hanging around the house chilling. So that's why I look like that. that um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to just explain it to y'all. We're going to do three highlights here, three highlights here, and three highlights here. Okay. I already have this parted like I said if you haven't seen the first video go watch it because this will kind of show you how I did this at home yes you can do this at home anybody can do it at home uh, it's just the, the fact of learning and just trying and doing it um, so basically um, I'm gonna do this first so all we're doing is the regrowth so whatever you see right here that's black that's what we're doing today so we're gonna put blonde in this and we're just gonna do we're just gonna do um, like how it is at the bottom we're gonna do that right there on the black so that's what you call the regrowth whatever has grown out that's your regrowth and hairstylists do this and you know they keep the bottom the same they just redo that top so now and then in the back the rest of my hair that's tied up in the back that is where um i'm just gonna do the regrowth and i'm gonna do the brown color but that's gonna be after so yeah let's get started you guys i'm ready i'm excited and let's do it as you can see we're gonna start with one scoop i like to start with one make sure you're in a good ventilated area just because and I usually go by eyeball whenever I want to add the developer. So this is what it's going to look like. The reason why that I do that with the developer is because I just know how it's supposed to look whenever I mix it. 
you want it to be creamy so it's a one-to-one -one ratio like this right now but this is not how i want it i need to get this right here in the middle well, it's actually already parted basically but we need to get this middle section and the rest away but it looks pretty good so far it looks like it's pretty much done um, you just want it to be sectioned good just because so I'm going to just put these back here behind my ear and then we're going to start on our first section so I'm just going to get a little little section like that okay I'm going to get a small section and now this hair right here, I'm gonna clip it away. I'm gonna clip it up and away. Okay. So we're gonna pull out all the blonde that you did last time. Okay. So if you try to do that, it'll just, it'll be easier for you. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. And then we're gonna clip this away as well so that we don't have to worry about it. And this right here is gonna be what we're gonna do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it down like that. Okay. So, and then we're gonna push this back. I mean, you can still do it like this, but. So now, I'm giving a little stir still. But you want to start right here at the beginning. And then we're just going to kind of do a little bit of that. We're not going to go any further. You're just going to do this piece right here. Like that you just you do want to make sure that you did push push it through though to make sure that I'm getting I'm getting that saturated really good okay and then you'll just push these to the side these pieces and then you're gonna fold them up okay just like that Fell, but it's okay and then I'm gonna push these sides down and I don't really know if I was supposed to do it this way or this way it's a little confusing because I'm doing it on myself but it'll be alright so that's your first foil okay and you're gonna just keep doing that all the way until you have three foils so that was the first one right there. Okay, that was your first one. Let's just push that back. And then this is gonna be your second one. Okay, all you have to do is um, put a, just clean it off with a towel and some water. Just want to make sure that's saturated really good just because you don't want it to have splotches in it. And you see where it's dark? Just kind of add a little bit right there. I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole piece because it does look a little dark. 
arm hurt. So kind of just take your time with this. Um, with this front part, because this part is probably going to be the hardest part of it all, but it isn't that bad. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh my god, I just can't do it. No, we can start on the sides. Try to get it as straight as possible as you can. We just put some color in there and this is it's one to two so you're gonna put double the amount of developer and now with this what you can do is you can use the brush
wash all this stuff at 920. I have a little bit left, which I'm going to mix all of that with um, some conditioner. That's how much I have left. It's pretty much so. But I'm going to mix that with conditioner and I will run it through the back at the end um, for maybe 15 minutes, I'll say. So, 8.15, I'm going to run all that back in there. So, you can also get toner from Sally. Um, during quarantine, you can't because Sally's is not open. I don't know about y'all's or whatever, but I got this from, you know, the store that I was telling y'all about um, for hair stylists only. Um, and these are two toners. This one's B and B. So, V is like violet and then B is for your blue... So this is going to be a sterling silver, this is going to be a platinum ice. So I'm going to mix these two together half and half and then I'm also going to put um, this in it. It's the gloss that you have to put in it. Um, it's kind of like a developer for the, for the toner. It is one to one ratio so I'm going to put half and half of these two and then a one ounce of this. Now, this on for 20 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna try to dry my hair. Alright, you guys, so I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna rinse the blonde out and then we're gonna tone it. Can y'all see how yellow it is when it looks yellow like this? That's how you know that's the good, that's the right color. Okay? Or when it's red. Okay. there's a little bit of orange but that's from the brown color that got mixed in with the blonde now don't be scared of that if it looks too orange go back whenever your hair is dry and just put a little bit of brown on it and it'll cover it up but I don't, right now I'm just drying my hair really good with a towel so just towel dry it really really good and then I already got the toner mixed up you already know what it's supposed to be mixed up like how much so, you're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes or until you can see your hair turning a certain color. It should kind of look a little, little maybe grayish. But you're just gonna saturate that through. If you're only doing the part that I did, the highlight part, in the front, you're not gonna need how much um, I told y'all to mix. You'll need half of that, unless you have long hair. Cause at the time, last time when I did this, I had longer hair. So, my hair is really short now. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna saturate the rest of my hair with the color that I had left. And I just mix shampoo in it. And I'm going to leave that on for 15 minutes. Okay, so we'll let that sit for 20 minutes and then we'll rinse everything out. And then I'll show you when it's dried up. Okay, you guys, so um, this is how my hair turned out um, from whenever I dyed it. It now, like this is just, it all dry and also straightened. Um, it looks really good. I think it came out pretty good um, for me to have done it myself. There is a couple spots like that I've seen where, you know, like you can kind of see a little demarcation of my natural color of black um just like whenever i move it 
there was a couple spots I've seen. You can't really tell though because my hair, um, like it, I guess it took pretty good, like the brown. Um, but I will say the blonde, it came out good, but as you can see, there's some demarcations as well. But that's because the brown got into the blonde and um which i'm gonna do it again it's okay because you could either do a dark or you could do it light but i want it to be light so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna end up just dyeing it blonde again i'm just gonna go in and um do exactly what i did the first time um and just leave a little bit of blonde in there not even a long time just enough to get that color out of there and to get it blonde again I can kind of see the orange right there but it came out really good honestly I think it came out really pretty and overall I'm really happy with it um, because I feel like my hair feels so I mean it looks fresh you know freshly done and it also just looks very um, it looked better than last time like then it just having the black in it because when it was grown out it just looked I mean it still kind of looked like it was done but it just looked a hot mess you know like you could tell it needed to be dyed again um but I'm glad I did it and I hope that you guys are careful if you try this at home but I'm not telling anybody to do this at home but a video previously before this video um it'll be in down in the description below so that you can see it but um someone commented on there and they told me that they would never be able to do that on their own hair um but it came out really good and what i told the girl was that what you can do is you can practice foiling doing that but all you have to do is use um use conditioner don't like use any bleach or anything but practice it on yourself with conditioner and if you are able to kind of get it down then try it out but if you can't then i wouldn't suggest it but just because i kind of know the basics i would do a lot of research you know watch a lot of videos and then practice and then after you practice once you kind of get a understanding of everything like with color with you know unless you've already kind of played around and did your own hair and everything um like you've dyed your hair before and stuff i would definitely suggest just searching up some stuff before you try this at home just because um you can burn your hair off you need to make sure that you're using the right products and just um yeah, just stuff like that and just being very careful because you don't want to mess your hair up or burn your hair because you can't go back from that um the only thing you can do is let it grow out and that's that could take a while um but yeah so i don't suggest people just doing this at home but i do suggest like if you want to practice then practice you know i think that that would be a good idea um but overall you guys i love my hair i think it came out really good um and yeah i hope that you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up a like um turn that notification bell oh, i'm sorry every time that i post a video you guys will be notified you won't miss out when i post and subscribe subscribe right now go subscribe right now okay Alright you guys, thank you for watching and